This video will provide an overview of the functions found under the Settings tab. On the General menu, you'll update the URL for your form. It needs to be short and descriptive. Generally, the name of the form is sufficient. You don't need to do anything else on this page. On the Email and Redirect menu, you can decide what you want the user to see after they submit the form. By default, the person who created the form will receive email notifications when the form is submitted. Notification emails are the results of the form. You can add other users or even entity accounts to receive those results. Confirmation emails can be sent to the user with additional information or next steps. You can create custom messages using fields from the form. I chose to send this email immediately, and it is a custom message that includes the owner's name and the pet name from what they submit in the form. And this is an email that goes back to the owner based on the email that they provided. Confirmation emails can also be used with multi-step forms where more than one approval may be needed or if you need to collect information from other sources like recommendation letters or volunteer con confirmation. You can also create multiple confirmation emails and multiple notification emails and use logic. All of those features will be explained in an advanced form stack training. You can also decide what you want the user to see after they submit the form. You can display a default message that just shows up on their screen that says thanks for submitting this form. You can display a custom message like I've created here that can again provide them with additional information or next steps about what they want to see. You can include a link back to your website if you want to um, have them come back in and see more information about your site. You can also redirect to an external URL. In this example, we've created a thank you page under the student research site. And so when a student submits a form there, they're taken to a page within the website that tells them that their application has been received and lets them know that they'll be notified when a decision is made. If you're embedding your form in your website, this is a good idea to keep people in your website after they submit a form. This concludes this video.